What's up, country? What's up, YouTube? It's country cousin. I'm back with another video. No, ooh, I'm looking, looking sharp, looking crispy. Shout out to my barber, aka the best barber in the world. But I got a special video. I got a special video for you guys today. Um, got a new reel. Uh, I know you seen last video. It's gonna be a little sneak peek. Um, but give you guys a quick tip. Uh, it's gonna be like a quick how-to video. Um, how to put braid on a new reel. Yeah, I guess you and saw the reel in the uh, in the thumbnail. Um, but we'll be using it in the next video when Larry gets back. I'm sitting here speaking of Larry, sitting here watching some video. Country girl and cook me this. Is this vegetarian or vegan? Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Like a hold on. Like a vegetarian um what would you call this? A vegetarian bowl? Yeah, power bowl. Power bowl. But that's enough of that. I'm finna start eating this. Once I get done with this, finish watching. Then we will go to the room. We'll go uh, get the reel, show you what type of line we're gonna spool on it, how to put line on it. The way I use is different ways you can do. You can do you can use duct tape, you can tie a leader. Quite haven't made quite haven't made my mind up. On how I'm gonna do it. Shout out to Larry for actually coming through with that reel. We will talk about. We'll talk more about that reel in the next upcoming video. But stay tuned. Oh, I'm tell you guys, Country Cousin and I are struggling trying to get the work. Trying to get the uh, video schedule. I know I supposed to upload Tuesdays and Thursdays. But the thing is, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna take my computer to go get it clean. I got a MacBook. Uh, this is one of the older ones. Uh, Say 2015 model, something like that. Yeah, and it's the supposed to be like the best one they made. I think it's a 17 inch or whatever. The biggest one, supposed to be the best one. And my videos upload very, very, very slow. So that video was done. It was done. I finished it Monday, and I was trying to upload it from Monday night all the way to Tuesday, and it didn't get done till wednesday that's when it uploaded so yesterday so today's video which is thursday this will probably come out either friday or saturday but stay tuned got videos videos getting better sitting here just watching some watching different people getting some ideas learning learning how to use this camera so guys be patient with me as the videos get better that's why i like my channel you know started from using just my phone now we got a camera, what's next? We got a boat, we're doing big things. We're doing big things. But enough talking, no, this is a long intro. I'm about to straight up murder this power bowl and um, finish watching the video. And uh, yeah, see you guys when I go grab the reel. What's up guys? So just got done eating that food. Full. Eating healthy food actually. Feel better. I didn't thought I'd ever say that. First time I ever ate some vegetables and enjoyed it. But enough of all that. So you see, we have us a DC Corrado. Shimano Corrado DC, whatever you want to say it. Shimano Corrado DC, DC Corrado, whatever you want to say. Got our DC here, we got our line, and we got our backing, and we got our braid. Now, the braid I'm going to be using, it will be 30 pound test. Now, some of you may be wondering, why would you use something like that? Now, it's two types of fishermen in this world that I didn't realize. You got people that know about fishing know what they're talking about have some knowledge i'm not gonna say they're no expert but they have a good a good good sense of fishing then you got other people that that's not is aware of the technology and the things that was put in place for fishing into up to date you got some people that just you know just go out and fish they think it's the same so hearing 30 pound braid to an older person or a person that's not actively fishing this fish you know how could i say this not necessarily aware 
aware of different techniques. They grew up fishing a certain type of way in that way. So hearing 30 pound line to them, like you you're using that for bass fishing? Like 30 pounds, you need to be fishing that in the ocean or somewhere, you know. The reason why I'm using 30 pound braid, and actually that is a lighter, lighter braid to me. Personally, to when you start about hearing people that fish in Florida where they have to use 60 pound braid to get those fish out of that hydrilla or get them out of those weeds, get them from around those sticks and stuff. So actually, all right, let's 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 try to put some wine on these reels. So all right, let's sit you down right here. Don't mind all jugging this room in my room, I'm trying to turn my room into like a loop. So we got our DC Corrado here. Get our line. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this line on here like we'll normal would. So you're gonna stick the the line. I guess I can show you guys. I mean, it's not gonna be the best thing, but we can show you. Definitely show you, show you, show you, show you. Stick it through this through this uh worm gear hole. Uh I think I'm saying that correctly, not hundred percent sure. Correct me in the comments. Like I said, not perfect. But stick it through there. Now, what I like about these bait casters, now you have some, I wish I had another one. Like this one, I know it has it, but um, it has line on it. This is a dial. Um, I wish I had an unspooled reel, but all my reels have line on them. But some reels, they have multiple holes in the, um, in the uh, spool. But this Shimano, it only has one hole. So with multiple holes, what you would usually do, you would stick one in, you stick the line through one hole, come out the other and you'll tie. But with this, this has one hole. So what I do, now you got some people that have tie that line directly straight to the um to the uh to the spool. I don't do that. I stick it in this hole far as I can get it like I say I'm not claiming this to be the best way to do it I don't even know is this the way you're supposed to do it but I stick it in a good little bit so now I grab my line and I start the reel but as I reel I'm gonna hold it just not it I want to say it's extremely tight because if you hold it too tight then it will slip it will come out but hold it just enough for the line can grip and once you start getting some line on it like come on it's it wants to catch my face come on camera there we go once you start to get some line on like that i hold it hold it pretty tight and i oh, let's sit that there and hold it tight and i just crank it on there make sure that line get it on there real good all right so that's about all the backing that I want to use on this thing here. So now, next what we want. I am back. Folks, these things are nice. Got a nice little grip to them. Got a little multi-tool action going on. Use these to get up on the fingernails. You know, country boys' fingernails are always dirty. Digging in dirt, playing in dirt. So pretty much what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a loop with this mono. So I'm gonna make a little loop here like this i'm gonna hold this here and i'm gonna take my braid here now take the braid through the loop i think i could make a quick now i know how i can get both of these lines together so take both lines right lay them side by side so make a loop in a braid, put the mono through, make another loop, and stick the mono through its own loop. Then do the exact same thing on this side. So make a, a loop, All right? Take a loop. Oh, that was a good one right there. Man, them beans getting to me. Um, Make a loop, right? Put that bad boy, put the braid through this loop. Mm. So now, 
what you want to do, you want to make a loop within the braid. Itself, right? You don't stick that through. Boom. How many times I'm gonna say boom? So take your tag in. And what you wanna do? You just wanna pull them together. And once you pull them together, that ain't that ain't going nowhere. That's strong. Look at that. I just watched a video for no reason. I ain't even do the night he did. I just used my big fat brain. That's what God gave it for me. But next time. We'll go more in depth, guys. I'll show you more in depth. I'll, I'll get some bigger, like, knot line and show you. Because I know it's kind of hard to see. I don't have no... I don't have no, uh... Don't have the best of lighting. Don't have the best of things. So, that line is there. It's not going nowhere. It's not... Put it down. It's not the smallest knot. I feel like... I probably could have did better. But it's going to get the, the job done. Once it... As long as it fits through this guide, this first guide, it don't matter because this line is at the end. So, let's close this up. Let's sit that right there. And now, make sure, make sure you spool, make sure your line is actually gripped to your spool. Don't make sure, don't, we don't make sure that it's not loose. So, hold this firm. I would have been doing this on a rod. But uh, I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. I don't, I don't. Rod is over there. I'm going to show you the rod I'm going to be using on this thing. And like I said, next video, which you guys will see, will go more in depth of, in the combo. So, just spooling. I mean, look at this. That, that Doesn't that? Oh my God. That is just beautiful. Uh, and guys, if you notice like your line is not being even, like you can see on my own of it's, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell, but my line is not, line is not even. And one way to tell, look on one side of the spool and then look on the other side. So from this view, it look like it's more line in the middle. It look like it's even on the side. So I'm gonna go slow. Maybe it'll even itself out. It looks like it's pretty much even. I could be being delusional right now. I can't see. I know this ain't. Come on. Put all the braid on there. All of it. Most of the time. Alright, so guys, what I like to do, it'll be kind of hard to show you, but you can see it's starting to get full. I like to get to maybe like half a centimeter to where it's full. So right now, this is actually perfect. I won't probably go no further than this. And it looks like it's the same on both sides. So this spool has been put on evenly. I mean, look at this. This is just beautiful. I mean, have you ever seen a reel this beautiful? I'm quite sure it's some other nice reels. Shimano's make some real. Hear that? Well, you can't hear it because it's like the braid is slapping against the thing. But, oh my God. But this thing. It's sick. I'm hurt. I lost my first one. Man, I'm still hurt about that. It sucks. Having flashbacks right now. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, don't forget to give it a like. Um, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you could, turn your post notifications on to on, on to all. So you'll get notified when Country Cousin is posting a video. And don't forget to... Uh, Comment, I think I said, don't forget to like. Check my boy Larry Milton Jr. out. Great content. Um, yeah, cut your passion. See you guys on the next one. Oh, I ain't like how I did it. I'm gonna do that one more time. Oh. See, I've been playing with the camera. This autofocus is crazy. Let me stop. See you guys later. I was just playing. Okay, bye. Come on. Go ahead. No, keep going. Keep going. I just want to say something.
Yeah, I wonder how Country Crush can be looking so handsome because I got my makeup team right here making sure that I'm good for the camera.